Hey, what's up, dev heads? Welcome to Dev Games 3085, and welcome to the second episode on mastering UE5 with gas. Today, I'll be going over on how to set up blocking volumes, setting up gas for your project, and also I'll be teaching you guys how to teleport your character to a specific destination. If you want to see the extended raw live extended version of this video, make sure you click on the box on the upper right. So sit back and relax, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more UE5 tutorials. All right, my check one, two. Welcome back, guys. This is my second episode of creating the UE5 game from scratch. It's gonna be a rap battle type of game. And here we go. Let's launch the game. If you missed the first episode, feel free to watch it in the, in the Dev Games 3085 channel. All right, let's look for the game. Here you go, open. All right, so we left off by creating a, a room with some lights so you can see when you hit play you are met with two stages with ominous lighting kind of like in the movie eight mile okay all is working uh, i guess we can begin with either some blueprints or a main menu i guess i can start off with the blueprints setting up the base template go to the content folder i'll create our game mode all right let's do that for organization's sake, we're gonna create a new folder and let's call it game logic. Can add spaces, so we'll just use uppercases. So the blueprint class and create a game mode, call it BP. Game mode. Hello Luna. What are you eating today? They're like apple. Mm, okay. No, not tart, but like apple pies. Apple pie? Apple pie. Tiny apple pie and banana. Empanadas, okay. Love that. So I'm gonna create the game logic stuff first. So why? Why? <laughs> I know it. <laughs> you could take a nap while I work on this. Yeah, I should leave again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna go to the map and select the new blueprint that I created. So I won't get confused. I guess we could put it here in the game mode. I like the shortcut where I click on it and then I hit the arrow and it gets selected. Simple. All right. So now, what should what do you what do you recommend we work on? Stage itself. Like the visual again? You don't want me to like start getting the logic in? Like maybe have a maybe let's block off the stage so other people can't play or join the stage. No, well, yeah, like you should make it where high so while people are on, did you have like a gate surrounding it and then block it off? The okay, picture? I'll, I'll do it right now. And it could be like a fancy little. I think it's called. I mean, you're not like you're good at games, but you're not the greatest of building. The... No, I'm not. I can admit that. As I'm saying, do it first and then do the coding because you're better at coding. Okay. Well, I'm not. I don't want to fully design the stage. I just want to get the logic stuff up and running. Like, like I said, like blocking the stage. I'll do that. I just gotta remember what the collision was. You know, like, I know this whole thing is on you. So you need that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I, I know, I know. I just. Oh, it's a value, blocking value. There you go. I remember now. So this will, it's kind of like the gate that you're talking about. It will block off. So let's surround the so called gate. Make it small. Gate like this. There's, uh, there's an option in case it's too dark. <laughs> so you need a cold. It's time. There's some parts. There's some parts of it that's cool. I'm too lazy to do to get up again. Make sure I get the gate really close to the stage so that the player won't fall in. Make it thinner. Try to make it high. More. Work. There you go. So what we're doing right now is creating a gate so that players will look and interrupt the uh, singers or rap battles. This will do for now. And one more wall. There you go. Great. Now we'll duplicate this box and put it on this side. Just make sure everything aligns. And then there you have it. It's a point. Sorry, I don't have the gift to talk to myself. Hey, it's a nice gift because no one understands the button. Here we go. It's so dollar. I can't go inside anymore. But there's a weird glitch happening. And? Oh, you know what? It's the game mode. I switched it. So now I have to uh, adjust my game mode. Just here. Let's see. If all pong, would it be third person character? There you go. Back to mobile. And there you have it. You can't go through the. You can't go on stage anymore unless, you, unless you're invited to the stage, you know? 
Okay. All right, let's do some game well, game mode, game mode blueprint stuff. First thing first, I need a game state so that the servers and clients can talk to each other. Game state, state, select the game state here. BP game state, there you go. Compile, save. All right, what I'm gonna do is just start on the simplest things ever. Try to get my feet dirty, my feet dirty, my hands dirty. That was not for the No. Anyway. Hello world. Well, I'll play and let's just see if everything's working. And of credentials to launch pie. Here we go. Play game. Don't no, no, run. And yes, I'm playing a different thing while you're working the room. It's fine. It's so funny how to Yeah, I need to concentrate because uh this requires logic. How requires logic? So what um, that's work? No. No. This is the first time I ran into this problem. The game kind of like freezes when I hit play. Default is on BP game state. I wonder if it's because I play controllers there. Let's go back to the original game state. That's weird. I don't know why I'm conditions to launch. I guess it's an exchange. I'm just doing one player just for curiosity. And it's weird. A person a controller. Let's take this off to see if that's the problem. Right. Go back to standalone to see if that's the issue. That's so strange. Let's go back to the arena game mode. Well, that, yeah, that's weird. Per can't control the player for some reason. Player controller. That's the speed patrol. Person character. Game. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe. No, he's not getting stuck. I'll just move him here just out of curiosity. Play. Nope. Still not working. Uh, I'm at Angel Blue. This game is. Yeah, there's the parrot. Okay, now it's working. Ah, oh, it's weird. weird. Alright, so, got that. wonder if it's because I added a node hit. And play. Nope, that wasn't the problem. Probably select something weird. Play. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna make a collision. Let's actually make an actor. We print actor, DP, step, or I'll make a portal. Okay. And then with this portal, let's add a collision. Make it a box collision. So when we touch this collider, we're going to teleport to the stage. I was just going to begin our teleport process that then later on we could trigger it by the game mode. But for now, let's do that. So let's give it some functions when touched. I will go to the event graph. I got the box and we'll click on the box so we can do some events like on the begin over that. We don't need this anymore. And here we can get the actor, the DP third. No, it should be other. There you go. DP third person character. Upon overlapping, you want to move the actor or is it teleport? And for now, we'll just keep it on 0x, y, and c just to see if it works. So we're going to drag out the BP portal. I'll make it bigger. There you go. Probably put it here. Let's give it a mesh so we can know where it's at. Self. So what we have to do is add a mesh. Or let's actually create a sphere. We go to the viewport to see how it looks. And... I think that's a little too big. So what we're going to do is on the scale, let's put, do 0.5 and we'll set the lock so it could take effect on every axis. But back. Actually, uh, let me go back, lock it and then set it to 0.5. There you go. That's still a little too big. Let's do 0.2. There you go. Now let's uh, make sure this sphere does not have any collision by going to collision. And here we just put overlap all then oh overlap all there you go hit compile see how it looks here perfect it's flat but actually that works out okay to one player as a server and hit play perfect let's add lighting it's actually add bold point light sorry hit play perfect so uh, when we overlap with that sphere we should be taken to the serial to another location let's see Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Now we need to figure out the C and Y and X axis to this location. Or what we could do is make another actor. Let's call it. If go did it call the actor. Well, yeah, we'll call it it. It okay. Well, what do you want to call the the actor that will take you to your destination? What do you want to call it? We'll call it BP destination. So it's gonna be an actor that will take you to the spot that you want to teleport to. In what certain state? 
on the stage. So right now I'm making a portal that will take you to the stage just so I can start off the process. And then later I will trigger it with an event via game mode. So here, let's do this. I got the actor here. No bullying. I'll make a floating actor. Oh. So it takes you to your destination? Yeah. Okay, and the game of the rap, we give all. But well, I already have it set up. Me? Mm, because I'm thinking logical D, because I don't want some. Okay, you think of a name and I'll be I'll continue cutting. So we'll teleport it here. I got shot in the face. So what we're gonna do is get all actors of class BP destination. Perfect. Drive note connected. So what we want to do for now is just get one. So we'll drive the to station location and then I can't do it. Let's see. Oh you know what? I gotta get lucky. There you go. Drag it into the the station and i think we should be good hit play touch the portal and bam we are now on our stage check it out oh hit play check it out hit the portal bam okay so we want two destinations so we'll just clone this one put it here but let's see let's do a random generator for now get okay hit random with a range so we'll do zero to one because there's only two and gotta keep in mind zero is considered one the way of coding Ooh, so let's go the, the way of life so here we go Ooh. one shot kills me Ooh. 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 Ooh, but i missed i missed test it again yeah. actually you know what to figure out if let's add a little cube to figure out what location we are i'm gonna move that one to here or this one to here and we'll Change the cube's color here. By changing the material, this one will be blue for now. Save uh, it. Blue is no, it's it's not gonna be a scare. It's a box. Oh, you know what? It tackles. So we're gonna duplicate this. Oh shoot! I'm doing so good. Oh my god! How am I not dead? Oh, make it red. Save and we'll apply it to this cube. Hit play. But let's see. Red cube. Red cube. Red cube. Red cube. So I don't think the random generator is working. Red cube. So let's figure out why it's not working. Right, the generator for random words? Oh uh, no. Let's actually do it manual just so I can see. It's working. Paw play. No, it should not be there. Okay. And this one should be blue in theory. Yep. Ah, and it's working. Zero to one. Maybe it was just uh okay, it is working. I was just doubting myself. No right. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, so we're done. Right. The stake. What should I do next? What should I do next? So look, I got to sell when you're about to. You should do when you're in the singing, then rap. We feel like the stories for the, 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 the screen. Why no singing? We should do the, it's like, I don't know what the issue is. When's it for, figure out the first person. First person? That's easy. So when you're on stage, you wanted to go first person? Okay. Let's do that then. So for that, you will need two cameras. You know what? I think I'm gonna use gas for replication to make my replication not easy. So let's set gas up. First thing first, let's get let's plug in tools. I gotta go to plugins and get my gas companion. So this tool right here will make your replication life easier. I can easily create HP mana if needed. I don't think we're gonna need it in this game, but I can make abilities that Maybe I'll add to the game later on, but we'll see. Oh, we we'll have to restart the editor. Save. Wait for the game to restart. And then we'll have to create a new third person character. Okay, I click this link to enable it. I will close it here. Okay. Dealer. So right here, we'll create another character. I will name it Beat. Actually, no. It has to be a gas character. Let's delete this. We'll go to blueprint class. Go to gas. I think it was all mod a character, I think. It was called, there you go, GSC module character. Perfect. Name, I'll name it BP Gas, or we'll just name it main character. Perfect. So by default, it's empty. So we're gonna open up third person character as reference, and we're gonna pretty much copy everything from here. We'll co copy all the events, and we'll go to the event graph and paste the notes, compile and save. I love UE5 for this. They you, Back in back in UE4, we would have to copy variables, so this is much easier. Now let's give this 
Just grab the mesh and copy the mesh from the third person character example. Hit the magnify tool and then we'll add it to the gas character by hitting the arrow. Perfect. By default, it's not aligned properly. So if I remember correctly, it's negative 88. Perfect. And it'll be native 90. Oh, we're not good. And we compile it. Here we see. Now we also got to get. We also got to get the animation. Let's do pair. Perfect. And play. And we're still using the old third person example. What we need to do is change the game mode so we can use our new character. I go into the game logic, into the game mode, and we'll now have to change the default on class to BP main character. Can we compile, hit save, hit play, and perfect. Still need to adjust a few things. Okay, let's see. I think we gotta go to, oh, you know what? We gotta set our camera and our boom camera. We can easily copy it from the example. Copy that, hit the mesh, paste it here, and hit save. There you go. And as you can see, it's kind of sliding because we gotta change some orientation. Let's see, we gotta go to self, or actually we gotta go to character movement and hit. It's the jaw. Let me double check. Let me do some Googling. All right, so we have to select the movement character movement and we have to look for the orient whoops well we gotta we gotta enable this orient rotation to movement perfect and i know on sub we gotta also change something i think it's rotation jaw hit jaw and we will have to disable that then we compile save hit play and there you have it it's not sliding anymore perfect teleports not working anymore because we created a new character, so we gotta go back to the actor, the portal actor, and make sure we change it to a new blueprint, which is cast to BP main character. And then we'll attach the notes again, and let's hit file and play, run it to see if it works out. Uh, and it does not, it breaks. I'm trying to figure out why, let's see. We gotta make target to teleport. Perfect. As you can see, you can't even leave the stage, which is what kind of wanted to do. Probably have to fix that later. And let's escape. Let's just fix that part so we won't get stuck. And over here, this is all just a prototype. Later on, we'll probably give it a better visual and use actual models. Here you go. Hit play. Perfect. We no longer fall in gap, except here, which is not a problem. All right. Now let's see what else we can do. Let's double check if we have gas installed. Or working by what was the command again reap let's see okay it was kill the key show debug ability system and there you have it gas is working perfect now we can do we can create attributes which will be all replicated okay so let's start adding hp even though this we can utilize hp as something else but for now let's do that by creating some data all the data give the main character some attributes by going to the ability system component area and then under abilities granted attributes we'll expand on that and here we can use the default one for now just the gsc attribute set and from here we'll we'll see if we have attributes now yep as you can see on the left side we have health max health stamina max stamina etc all right so let's create our own Let's start adding values to our own attributes by going to the content, data, go to miscellaneous, and I believe it's, I want to say it's this one. Oh no, it's this one, data table. Make sure we look for, or what is it? Attribute made a data, hit okay. We call it TT attribute. Okay, right here we can start adding values, but we first gotta create, we gotta add the attributes here by hitting add and we got to start off the row with gs attribute gsc attribute set can't spell there you go period health then we'll expand this a bit let me just double check my work gsc attribute set help yeah to make the process easier i'll just copy this gsc attribute piece and we'll create another one gsc attribute max health so we'll create another one call it gsc attribute stamina even though we might not use it max stamina Create another one, all the T attribute liner, and uh, max weather. All right, we got it all set. So let's start adding the attributes for each attribute. 
start adding the value star for our health we're gonna give it 90 just for max health we're gonna give it 100 stamina let's give it 50 for max stamina let's give it 100 mana 50 as well actually you know what let's give it a 100 and then max, max mana we're gonna give it 100 hit save go back to your main character and then choose the attributes we just made and let's see if everything's working and it's not let's figure out why it's not working pretty sure i misspelled something tribute no g s c and tribute it's a, it's a well, probably about these didn't map over for some reason so base value here has to be 80 and it did not change 80 enter oh there you go i forgot to hit enter okay 50 Enter, hundred, enter, let's give it, enter, enter, save, let's play the game, check if our hits took effect, and it did, health is 80, max health is 100, max stamina is 100, stamina is 50, mana 100, and max mana 100, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is get a visual, now we have to create a player controller, going back to the game logic folder, now I'm gonna create a new blueprint, Call it GSC controller, I believe. Here you go. Select it. BP player. Now we're going to add it to our game mode. Boom. We'll replace that with the BP player controller. Hit compile. Here, we can start creating our HUD. And fortunately for us, Gas has template. So to do this, we'll have to see and begin. Has to BP HUD uh, to get some character. And we have to get our park controller get player controller and attach it here then we're gonna create with it not sure if that's the proper way pretty take owning player should be the this one here and it's not working I'm trying to figure out why but i know the template is wb hud and it will add it to the vcall player screen actually paul i know there's something there's a step that we're probably missing here you're out but oh you know what it has to be the player controller there you go okay in theory we should not have a hud perfect teleport works we got hud in the screen we're showing the proper values and we're all set all right i'm gonna end the stream here today hopefully you catch me later and if you like these series feel free to like and subscribe thank you very much see you guys next time if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you want to see the raw version click on the video to the left and for more videos click to the video to the right and if you really love what you see, support me by visiting my Perkin merch website in the description below.